Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today is also about how markets work and it is about price changes. Our objectives for today would be to analyze the causes of price changes, to evaluate the effects of changes in demand and supply on equilibrium price and the quantity bought and sold. So quantity demanded and quantity supplied, and to use demand and supply diagrams to illustrate the causes and effects of price changes. So here we will be talking again about the shifts of both the demand and supply curves and how it would result to a new equilibrium point. Why does the equilibrium change? First of all, the equilibrium change due to three reasons. The first one is a change in demand. So it's either my demand will shift to the left or to the right. So it would either increase or decrease. Also changes in the supply curve. Again, here, remember, we're talking about the shift since it is supply and not quantity supply. And finally, it's either because both the demand and supply curves shifted. Changes in equilibrium point, no equilibrium price is permanent. The equilibrium price will change whenever the supply or demand curve shifts, as we saw in the previous slide. Changes in supply and demand occur when the determinants of supply and demand change. So what are we talking about? What happens is if we have a shift in the supply curve, due to the factors discussed before such as subsidies and so on we will get a new equilibrium point and the factors of demand are for example taxes on income income advertisement population all of these are factors that affect demand if the demand curve shifts to the left or to the right we will have a new equilibrium point what causes the price to change? Price changes when equilibrium is upset. So it happens due to a shift in demand, which is a change in buyer's behavior. So this is my supply. This is my demand. This is my original equilibrium. Price, quantity, do not forget to label. Now, because I'm talking about due to a change in demand, so it could either shift to the left or shift to the right so look as you can see i have a new equilibrium point which is the intersection the new intersection point with the supply curve so at that point i say we have a new equilibrium which is the new red point also it might happen because of a shift in supply which is a change in the seller's behavior so let's have a look here supply demand this is my original equilibrium point i will have a new equilibrium point if my supply either shifts to the left or to the right look at my new intersection point this is my new equilibrium okay so i need you to know that if the price is rising the market is in shortage and out of uh, equilibrium and is searching for a new equilibrium point so for instance if we are talking about supply demand quantity and price this is my original equilibrium point if i am looking at this blue shaded area any point here any point that is in the blue shaded area is at a shortage so if the price rises it means it has to rise in order to reach my equilibrium so changes in market prices will occur as a result of changes in demand or supply conditions let's start first with when demand increases an increase in demand for a product it is mainly because people's incomes have risen or because the price of a substitute good has gone up it will cause its market demand curve to shift 
outwards. As you can see here, I got a new demand curve. It shifted to the right and I got a new equilibrium point. This is my new equilibrium point. And at that point here, it means um, we had a shortage. So the price needs to increase. So in this diagram, um, the market price rises from P1 to P2, all right? And the increase in price is a signal to producers to expand or to extend their supply of the product from Q1 to Q2. Now, later on, you will see the fall in consumers' um, income, for instance. It will cause the demand curve to decrease or shift inwards or to the left. So when the demand decreases, always you need to plot it to make things much easier for you. Look here. This is my original equilibrium point. Okay. So if my demand decreases, it means it will shift to the left. So again, the buyer's behavior changed, right? And we had a surplus before. And look here, I got a new equilibrium point, which led to a decrease in price because during the surplus, prices decrease. And look at the quantity. It decreases, okay? So the price falls. A new equilibrium point is established. It fell from P1 to P2. And the quantity decreased from Q1 to Q2. When the supply increases, remember, an increase in the amount producers are willing and able to supply of a particular product will cause its market supply curve to shift outwards or to the right. So, um, for example, this may occur if there is a fall in the cost of production uh, due to falling wages or improvements in the speed and accuracy of equipment uh, at, because we have advancement in technology, because of an uh, increase in subsidies, because of decrease in taxes. All of these factors that we discussed in previous videos will cause my supply curve to shift outwards or to the right or increase. So when the supply curve increases, we got a new equilibrium point. What happened to my price? So the prices fell and the quantity, what happened to it? It increased. I want you to try and pause the video and tell me whether we had a surplus or a shortage here if supply decreases and what happened to the new price and to the new uh, quantity. So what is my new equilibrium point? Try to pause the video and do that by yourselves and then put play. So if supply decreases, probably there was an increase in tax. Okay, so we will shift to the left. I got a new equilibrium point. Look at it. What happened to the price? It increased. So at that point, it means we had a shortage. Creates a shortage, okay? Price rises, a new equilibrium is established. And what happened here? My quantity also decreased. So guys, this is like a summary. It's telling you if market demand rises, a shift to the right, and what happens to the new equilibrium, and if market supply falls, also what's happening to the new equilibrium. In both cases, if demand increases or supply decreases, 
my prices will rise this is what will happen to price prices will increase remember do not memorize this try to always graph it and tell me what happened to your price graphically always try and elaborate your answer with a diagram a decrease in market price when will the price decrease it is if my demand falls or if my supply rises in both scenarios as you can see the prices decrease let's have a look when both the demand and supply curve shifts either to the left or to the right what happens is we will have a new equilibrium okay so we have diagram number one and diagram number two what i would like you to see is that both the supply and demand in both cases they increase increase in both supply and demand so it is of course possible for both the conditions of demand and the conditions of supply to change at the same time in this case the impact on the market will depend not only on the direction of the changes but also on the size of the changes. So here it is very, very important to know that whether the demand shifted more than the supply, as you can see here, the demand shifted much more than the change in supply. Therefore, my I, I got a new equilibrium, right? But what happened is my price increased. Whereas when I have the supply is the one changing much greater than that of demand what happens is my prices will decrease okay so here it depends on um, the increase in demand whether it is being greater or less than the increase in the supply This is like a summary, okay? And you can uh, do this graphically. Uh, so for instance, when demand curve remains unchanged and the supply curve shifts to the right, let's do this. Supply, demand, price, quantity. So I will change only the supply and not the demand. This is my new equilibrium. The red one this was my old one what happened prices look decreased and the quantity it increased you do not need to memorize this you can always show that graphically let's have a look at this one how can i graph it so the demand curve i will always draw my original supply and my demand and the initial equilibrium they are telling us that the demand curve shifts to the left and supply curve shifts to the left. What happened here? I got a new equilibrium point, which means my uh, quantity decreased but my price increases or decreases depending on whether the uh, supply shifted more than the demand or the demand shifted more than the supply. It's like what we took in the previous slide. So this is a summary. When do prices change? Only when a market is in disequilibrium. So if there is a shortage, what should happen? Prices will need to rise. And if there is a surplus, which is this area here, prices should fall. A shift in either demand or the supply causes the price to change. And a price change does not cause the demand curve to shift or the supply curve to shift. Why? Because the price, when it changes, it creates a movement. It will create only a movement and not a shift. So here they're talking about ceteris paribus. The difference between a change in quantity supplied and the change in supply. Thank you guys. Have a lovely evening.